I have no idea where I'm going. Um, I found this book at my parents house called Creative Gardening and it's like so cool because it's just filled with different photos and illustrations of different plants so it's really nice to flip through so I've done a couple of um, plant drawings from it and stuff and then I realized I have the original names here so I thought it'd be really cool if I could make like a potions kind of page but then I stopped but that would be really fun wouldn't it like age up a page and stuff Okay, so I am in bed and look what I found in the bookstore. This was a recommendation for me from one of you guys. Let's get through this. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday morning and it's kind of a dark day and I think it's going to be raining all week so kind of crappy conditions for filming but hey sorry that it's a bit dim probably will be tomorrow when I film my paint over video and probably will be for the next few clips of this vlog I decided what I'm gonna do is just do I've decided what I'm gonna do is do Friday vlogs maybe bi-weekly but maybe weekly depending on what kind of footage I get because me just sitting at my desk all week is probably going to be quite boring and then Wednesdays I'll do like my paint over videos which will be either books or maybe something else but kind of want to just keep it to books because books are kind of my thing they're my like other hobbies reading writing so I want to connect my YouTube to that like watching a lot of booktubers as well as art tubers so maybe I'm a hybrid kind of thing but not really because I don't really read books and stuff but yeah I want to do like more book stuff is what I'm saying yeah well now I have to do my comic if you guys don't know I do a comic every day um, I have been doing that for the past year and four months so um, every weekday anyway not every day so I get the weekends off, but I, I have to think of an idea in the morning and, and do it. And sometimes they're gold, sometimes they're not so gold, but they're just kind of slice of life things that I like doing. And I think they've really improved over the time that I've done them. So yeah, there is a video about my year of making comics, but I think I might remake it now that I've got a better camera and you guys can see more work. Gigi's deciding to wreck the kitchen, so I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. Finished my line work for the comic. It's just basically about how when I have plans later, I kind of shut down a little bit. I, well, I don't shut down completely, but I'm kind of like, eh, what do I do? And I get a little bit overwhelmed and yeah, it's about that. That would be really crappy, wouldn't it? Just like the weather today and I've got to go out in it and I've got to get a taxi. And all our umbrellas are in the car and Chris has the car, so oh. <laughs> And this is my lunch. Got pumpkin and carrot soup. And then I dumped a load of chia seeds in there because I love chia seeds. A little bit of bread and some crab sticks, which I know are a bit garbage, but they're okay. And lots of water. And I'm also taking these supplements magnesium because apparently it helps with normal function of the nervous system and uh, like me metabolism and stuff. So. And it's got zinc in it. So apparently it's going to help me not be so tired all the time and stuff like that because that's me, that's my life. I'm actually watching this new vlog channel that I found. It's not new, it's old. It's not, sounds so rude. Um, I got introduced to this new vlog channel called Joy San and she's been around for a while, I think, but I've never seen her stuff and I'm really enjoying it. And I really like her kind of off the wall vlogging style where she just 
She just says what she thinks and does whatever and yeah, she just shows people. So I thought that I would kind of do that kind of style because I like watching it and well, not like exactly the same, but I thought I would probably talk more about like things like this and you guys let me know if that's what you enjoy because I don't want to be talking to no one. Good morning guys, excuse me looking like absolute burp but I got no makeup on just thought I'd do a little update because yesterday I got absolutely soaked because the weather was bad Now look at it today Very typical isn't it? It is now Wednesday and yesterday I filmed Chris's sketchbook tour and then we went out to have um, drinks with some friends that came over from London and yeah it was nice except I got soaking wet and now the weather is absolutely fine. I also picked up this magazine which is like a local magazine and I'm in it. Um, yeah it's pretty cool. The curse of the novelist kind of makes me cringe a little bit though because that's embarrassing for me. And apparently like somebody walked into Chris's work and was like oh your girlfriend's a novelist huh? And I was like Oh, I don't know why that just makes me embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, so today I'm going to do my comics and then I'm going to do a film. Um, well, not film. I'm going to film something um, that you will probably see by the time this vlog is up. So I can reveal it. It's the 100 page challenge and it's the first one that I am going to be doing. So I have to pick a book. I'm not sure which to pick. But you all know which one I pick by the time you see this. I don't know why I'm kind of singing. Some more fun stuff is that we have applied to be in Gibraltar Comic Con, which is going to happen the 4th of May. And I'm very excited because I did it last year, but I didn't have quite the standard of stuff that I have now. So I'm going to have these sticker sets with my stickers in them. These are stickers that I made. Go away! Um, there's lots of them. I used to have like sets of them. I did like a set of 10 in each. She wants to be YouTube famous. You can't be. You cannot speak. I mean, you're pretty cute though, so maybe. What do you think, guys? Next YouTube star? Next PewDiePie? And yeah, so I did these. And I'm gonna like sell stickers and prints, hopefully. And I wanna get, I do wanna get a comic book of my comics. Well, most of them that I like printed, and then I will sell them there as well. But I'll keep you guys updated with that when. When we get to it. Got some pens. Pesto is like crazy for it, isn't she? Yeah, she keeps attacking my hand. Look at her, intense wanting the plastic. You're not getting she it. She loves eating sellotape. Weirdo. Oh. oh. Eat it all. Oh, okay, don't actually eat it though, Pesto. Yay, and these ones are waterproof, so we can use them and then do watercolours on top. I love them. run out of normal capsule coffees so I have to use this one that we got from Florida about six years ago but it's a can so it's fine I think that everyone's a little bit cold today so I'm working on this comic well I have been working on this comic last year and I spent like maybe a few hours here and there on this comic after finishing my my slice of life comic which I do every day and I really want to continue it, but the problem was is that I ran out of Copic markers. Some preliminary stuff. I ran out of Copic markers and this paper was getting used up and I just really felt it like lacking in the spirit of wanting to do it. Lacking morale to do it, I guess. Um, enthusiasm, because even though I really like the characters and the story, I just thought it's going to be a long project. I wanted to de dedicate a long time to it. So I was thinking maybe I will start doing it again, but maybe drawing out the... drawing out the panels again and then colouring them digitally 
because I think they would just use up too much Copic markers. Now I want to try it and post it online somewhere because I think, I don't know, I think it is a good comic and I think it's a good idea and I really like the characters that I've done and it'd be a shame to waste it, right? Especially after all these hours of work. So I think what I'm going to do is light box these panels out and maybe fix some things that I didn't like that happened previously and then I can colour them digitally and it would be great. I don't know, it's just, it was a fun project so it's a shame to waste it, right guys? What do you think? I thought what I would do is just pencil it out and then use inks and then scan it and see what it looks like coloured in um, on uh, the computer so maybe it doesn't look if it doesn't look good then I don't have to um, continue this and I have to find some copy markers of these shades but yeah I think it's really good to do this because I'm kind of improving on little mistakes I made in the beginning for instance like the speech bubbles I would like to just be white have no black outline and I can improve the typography a little bit because I think that was something that bothered me originally about the comic so we'll see I started off using this zig uh, manga flexible pen and then I was like oh I don't like that line quality at all so I'm gonna try a Muji pen but as I remember I think Muji um, with this paper it's like if I use it and then I rub out the lines it might smudge so I'm gonna do some tests and then see which pen I prefer. Just testing really what is gonna be best. Okay, well, I don't know if I have to just look at this with fresh eyes, but I feel like I really like the Copic markers a lot more than this, so I don't know if the, I'm going to make the comic, then I have to buy a load of Copic markers, and that's going to be a pain, isn't it? Just buying refills. Mm. But I think this has really confirmed my feelings like it's not a wasted test but it's really confirmed that yeah i want to do it tradi all traditionally um because i'm a traditional gal i think no matter how much i try <laughs> little update on the room progress I am about halfway through and I'm really really enjoying it I think it won the poll like <laughs> the poll down in the comments so this is gonna be the paint over project for next week so I'm trying to finish it in time but I think I will finish it tonight tonight being Friday night like the granny I am in bed reading <laughs> even though I actually watched the movie recently because I didn't realize it was a book but I watched the movie recently and even though I've seen that I'm still really enjoying it and still found it quite suspenseful and um, like a tape a page turner <laughs> a page turner so that's pretty cool considering I know what happens okay guys thanks for watching vlog I guess of my week but it's not been that interesting but I hope it's been somewhat interesting to you and I will see you guys next time bye I'm Batman <laughs>